Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, last time I did a video here, it was a big mess. Well, they finally fixed the driveway. They just got done yesterday. Uh, I just got done putting this down here. Because we are going to start getting ready for brush hogging. And the last time you saw the 656 and the brush hog was over at the farm. And they are both over here now. Um, as I mentioned, I think in the last video or something like that, that I have a brush hog job. So I'm uh, going to be checking the fluids in the brush hog, getting that ready. They won't have to mess with the blades any because I only mowed my property last you know, it was last fall just after I got it and they had gone through it but and there really ain't much out there so but um so just check the fluid blades I know are good and then uh just go through do the regular checkups and stuff on the tractor and be good to go for this year of brush hogging which get enough of them jobs and I pay enough and then you know I charge less than what a lot of people in this area are charging so hopefully they'll bring in enough customers and help pay for more equipment and all that other happy jazz so yeah uh, so yeah they finally got this done. That's still tore up over in there a little bit. I don't know what their plan is. I tried contacting him. I left the voicemail, so we'll see what happens there. I uh, just got to get other stuff picked up and moved out of here. I'm uh, going to be working on that. Hopefully this weekend. I believe Saturday is supposed to be a pretty nice day, so I want to work on that. And I want to get the uh, tire on the disc changed out and get that them up here because right over there is where I plowed and the ruts were horrible and my yard's only mowed in some spots because I'm pretty sure you can tell where it's really really wet and I got a couple ruts here these are actually ruts from pulling the trailer down and then that's from when that boat which that got given to me for scrap and it just needs them one small hole patched and it'll be good to go but the trailer for right over there going to get cut up for scrap is no good I'm going to move that the tongue dug down in there so I got a little bit of work to do but nothing excruciatingly bad um let's see oh and uh for those of you that might remember we are looking at getting our own farm uh, yesterday after work we met with a realtor to go and look at it uh, there are two houses on the property one this is an old Amish farm uh, there are two houses on the property one I guess I don't know if this is a proper termination a uh, mother-in-law's cottage or however you want to say it's a more modern ranch home two bedroom Nothing major, one story, finished basement, very nice place, well built. But the house that we would be using, which is, what was it, that was at least five bedroom house. That's the uh, one that the actual main Amish people stayed in. Uh, that uh, needs electric put into it. So we're kind of on the drawing table about it. We're going to see how it pans out. He said, I don't know why I'm not very familiar how real estate works. But he said it's kind of, uh, that property is kind of difficult to sell. I don't know if that's because of it having two houses or what the story is on it. But we're going to see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted on that. If it don't work out, that just means there's something better coming. So uh that's about it pretty much is getting ready for spring and summer which technically spring is here but right now i don't feel like it because 
we got still actually using the wood stove at night right now it's actually going right now it's pretty it's what was it? it was 51 according to the truck but the wind is blowing so that kind of makes it a bit more chilly but so yeah the cleanup process continues over here from the mess because crap got strewn everywhere that's just a burn pile we're gonna do once we get everything rounded up and if we end up staying here I want to fill this in and put a garage to work on the equipment in and a pole barn over there for my tractors and stuff so but just figure and doing a not so often uh, during the week video so um, might possibly have a new uh, work pickup truck in line uh, waiting to see what how that goes before I uh, announce what that is and all that stuff I I've used it before I've had to borrow it a time or two but we'll see how that goes so but that should do it for this one guys I just just a small update video, I guess you could say. So uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe.